Good morning, Centurions. Today is January 26, 2021, and we have lots of news for you today, so stay tuned. Hey, Centurions. Registration is underway, and do you know what classes you're going to take next year? If not, get out your phone and scan the QR code. It provides links to more information on some of the classes that are offered. Of course, your counselors will also be providing information, and you can speak with the teachers of the classes offered as well. Check regularly, as the links and information will be updated throughout registration. Thanks, Centurions, and may the Force be with you. Oh, wait. Wrong meme. Make it so, number one. What subjects and classes do you teach? Biology. So I teach AP Biology and I teach Living Earth. What is your favorite part about working at Cypress High School? Is definitely the people I get to work with. Uh, most of the people here are genuinely nice, they're kind, they're friendly people. The students are great. Most of them, they get their work done, but at the same time they can have fun. Most of them. Uh, same thing with the faculty. They're great too. Most of them are friendly, helpful, very nice people. Most of them. And that's what makes Cyprus a really fun place to work. The people. What do you miss most about being on campus? First of all, again, it's the people. Um, you know, on Schoology conferences, all I get to see are these little one inch by one inch video cameras, which is great. You know, I'm really glad my students will turn their cameras on, but it's just not the same as having like 35 to 40 students sitting there in the classroom. The second thing I definitely miss <clears throat> is being able to do some hands on science because labs and experiments, that's the fun part of science. And there's really only so much of that we can do with distance learning. Where did you go to college and what did you like about it? to McGill University in Montreal, Canada for my undergraduate and I went to Oxford University in England to do my graduate school. And one of the things I liked about the college experience is you can totally immerse yourself in what you want to learn about. So I was able to learn and do a lot of science, but also both Oxford and McGill are international universities. So I was able to meet students from all over the world and that was pretty cool. What is something that students may not know about you? One thing a lot of students might not know about me is that I was born in England and I moved to Canada when I was eight. So when I came to the to the States back in the early 90s, I wasn't a U.S. citizen. And it was finally only about a year and a half ago, I decided it was time to become a citizen. So I put in my application and then it was last summer in the middle of our COVID lockdown. that I finally went for my oath ceremony and I am now a U.S. citizen. So come November 3rd, I'm ready to vote. Centurions, this year is different, but the yearbook staff is putting together an outstanding yearbook that highlights and captures the ways we still carry on despite the pandemic. Click on the QR code to purchase your yearbook. The price is $85, but it will be going up after March 19th, and there are limited quantities, so don't wait. Congratulations to this week's Centurion standouts. Nithya Sri Murthy, Abdul Havraman Dughani, Brooke Bugelman, Michael Lay, Carissa Lobman, Saki Maurice, Esther Jang, Rosaline Singh, Sri Lassia Nali, Grace Hunt, Kali Yi, Grace Williamson, Miriam Trad, Noor Abdul Karim, Hyam Su Cho, Griffin Donahoe, Sanchit Kaishik, Srivansh Kanda, Nicholas Kriko, Nancy Phillip, Josu Umana, Gadir al Jafot. Good morning, Centurion. Dr. Hodson here. Just want to check in on the last week of January. We've already flown through the first month of our second semester. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, a little bit of good news with uh, the COVID numbers. The hospitalizations are coming down. Um, testing rate is coming down. So that's definitely some good news there. So we're, we're going to keep our eye on that closely and see how that impacts us as far as athletic camps, uh, potentially coming back in a hybrid model and so forth. So I will continue to update you on that. Uh, otherwise, just want to make sure that you guys are doing OK, uh, checking on each other. You know, we've, we've been in this situation so long, I think sometimes we kind of take for granted that this is just it now and, and it's really not. So 
we, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but saying that, I do want you guys to make sure that you're checking on yourselves, checking on each other, uh, that your friends are doing okay. Um, because, you know, this has been a long, long time um, to, to be out of our, uh, our school community. And uh, we miss you guys. I know you guys miss all your friends. Um, so whatever you can do to check on each other, make sure you're doing okay. I really would appreciate that. Uh, I'll update you guys as we, as I get more information on, like I said, the COVID numbers coming down and so forth, but, um, we've, we've got some, some good news for the first time in quite a while, uh, in relation to that. So we'll hope that, hope that that, that brings us back together in some manner. All right, everybody have a great day. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Motivation comes from working on things we care about by Cheryl Sandberg. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week with more announcements.